Hello students. We now commence a new series of lectures on the topic correlation. So what is correlation? Correlation is one of the methods of studying the relationship between two variables wherein the change in the value of one variable produces a change in the value of other variable. So for example, if you are going to consider two variables x and y. So the change in the value of one of this variable will also produce a change in the value of the other variable. The example that we may take is during uh, the season summer that is the summer season. So if variable x represents the summer season and y represents the sales of the air condition. The change in the season produces a change in the sales of the air condition. For example, during the summer season, the sales of air condition will be more. Whereas in the winter season, the sales of air condition will be less because people prefer to buy a um, heater that keeps them warm. So as the season changes, the sales of air condition also changes. So when the change in one variable produces a change in the other variable, so that concept, the, the way of evaluating how far these variables are related to one another, so to what extent they are related to one another, the concept used is known as correlation. So correlation is one of the method of studying the relationship between two variables wherein the change in the value of one variable produces the change in the value of the other variable. And the unit of correlation is, uh, is unit free actually correlation is because we are just evaluating the degree of relationship between these two variables. So there is no unit for correlation and correlation is represented by the alphabet small r. So this represents the correlation. We shall now learn about the types of correlation. So depending upon the change in the value of the variables, the correlation can be categorized as positive correlation, negative correlation and there is no correlation. And again these can be further classified as in positive correlation we have positive linear correlation positive non-linear correlation, perfect positive linear correlation and under negative correlation we have negative linear correlation, negative non-linear correlation and perfect linear correlation. So we will learn about each of this in detail in our next video. Also by seeing the number of variables the correlation can be classified as simple correlation and multiple correlation. So what is simple correlation? If the correlation is between two variables, for example, x and y. So if the correlation is between only these two variables, then it is known as a simple correlation. If it is between multiple variables, that is more than two variables, then it comes under multiple correlation. So the correlation between more than two variables. So multiple variables. For example, the variables, variables can be x, y and z and so on. It can be more than that also. Even n number of variables we can have. And such a correlation is known as multiple correlation. So depending upon the number of variables, correlation is classified as simple correlation and multiple correlation. Now we shall see what is positive correlation, what is negative correlation and what is no correlation with the help of its definitions. So the first one is positive correlation. So when two variables that is two variables are said to be positively correlated. If for an increase in the value of one variable there is also an increase in the value of the other variable or for a decrease in the value of one variable, there is also a decrease in the value of the other variable. So that, uh, that is the two variables change in the same direction. So uh, two variables are positively correlated 
if they change in the same direction that is for example if we have variable x and variable y if the value of x increases then the value of y also increases or if the value of x decreases then the value of y also decreases so they change in the same direction so such a correlation is known as positive correlation the example that we can consider to explain positive correlation is the quantity supplied of a commodity and its price so these two are positively correlated because when the quantity of the commodity supplied increases the price also increases whereas if the quantity of the commodity supplied decreases then the price also decreases in so when both change in the same direction they become the become the best example for positively correlated so they both are positively correlated so next we shall see the definition of negative correlation so two variables are said to be negatively correlated if for an increase in the value of one variable there is a decrease in the value of the other variable that is the two variables change in opposite direction so if we consider the variables x and y then if the value of x increases then the value of y will decrease or if the value of y decreases then the value of y will increase such in such a case the correlation is said to be a negative correlation so the example for negative correlation is demand of a commodity and its price they both are negatively correlated because when the price increases the demand for the commodity decreases because when the price becomes high the demand will obviously go down so it decreases now if the price decreases so if the price goes down then more we people will start to demand that commodity so that quantity of commodity will uh, will be demanded in more so when the price decreases the demand will start to increase so they both change in the opposite direction and so this is the example for the two variables which are negatively correlated next we shall see the definition of no correlation it is also known as zero correlation so when two variables that is two variables are said to be uncorrelated if the change in the value of one variable has no connection with the change in the value of the other variable so if we if there is any change in the value of one variable it will have no connection with the change in the value of the other variable so when there is no connection between these two variables then there will be no correlation between them it is also known as uh, there is zero correlation between them or the two variables are said to be uncorrelated for example the weight of a person and the color of his hair they both are uncorrelated because the weight of a person does not uh, does not make a change in the color of the uh, of the of his hair or the color of the hair of a person does not predict the weight of the person so there is no connection between these two therefore these two are, are uncorrelated in fact we can also consider the height of a person and the color of his hair they both are uncorrelated so therefore in this lecture we learnt about the definition of correlation we saw the types of correlation with respect to the change in the variable and also with respect to the number of variables and we learnt what is positive correlation negative correlation and when the when the two variables are uncorrelated so in our next video we will be learning about the measures of correlation where we will be learning about the scatter diagram and the carl pearson formula for the evaluation for of uh, correlation and also we will uh, learn about the limitations and uh, the disadvantages that we have uh, I, uh, i mean uh, in correlation we will learn the properties of the value of the correlation so hope you have understood this topic so this is a series of lecture so kindly watch the next video for better understanding thank you